Hello, little friends. Dapper Drabby here, and welcome. Welcome to the Lycan Rock versus Alolan Raichu uh, deck list and face off. So, we're just going to flip through them real fast so you guys can kind of see what's in them. Um, but primarily, you know, this stuff is. Uh, we're going to have a full deck profile of this later, but you guys can kind of see, you know, what's in it, and then I'll shuffle it up and we will get started. Um, of course, this is based off of probably a pretty popular list right now of Lycanroc, Zorark. Um, but we still think Raichu has a chance, um, even though it's facing weakness and... Uh, I don't know, actually. It's, 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 it's a big... It's an uphill battle for the Raichu deck, for sure. But uh, I believe it still has a chance with the build that I made. I think it's kind of... I like it as the uh, best build for Raichu, but we'll see what you guys think when we start to base off. So there is our Lycanroc deck, which we'll put over here. And uh, go ahead and focus down there for a second. I'm realizing it's too warm for my long sleeves when you have all these lights on. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll up my sleeves real fast. And we'll get started. So let's go ahead and roll the dice, I guess. I think in the um, in the original, the video I'm paying homage to, which is the Alolan Raichu versus Lycanroc decks, I believe the Alolan Raichu for, went first. But we're going to go ahead and say if these are... Uh, we're going to roll the, the Shining Legend die, and if it's odds, uh, Lycanroc will go first. If it's evens, Alolan Raichu will go first. It is odds, so we're gonna have the Lycan Rock go first, and uh, we have our little coin flips too. I guess we could have flipped and said heads or tails, or I would have said Pikachu or Raichu, but we'll put those aside. Um, and so let's go over the Raichu deck in a second here. Let's just show what's in it. You know, you have your right Alolan Raichu, Raichu GX, Pikachu's, all that jazz. And as you can see, I'm using a few of these World Championship cards as proxies, which is perfectly fine in a setting like this. You just can't take them to tournaments. And what shows that they're the World Championship is a little signature there. So let's go ahead. We'll shuffle up this one too, and we will get started. Obviously, uh, Lycanroc is going first. So I don't know why that video... On its own got uh, so many views. It's got 300 views. It might just be the popularity of Lycanroc. But it is my most viewed video on YouTube. Is that Lycanroc versus Alolan Raichu. So let's go ahead and see if what Ry Lycanroc starts with here. Now normally you would flip it over, shake hands, and then flip it, but considering I'm playing on my own, wow, mulligan. So let's see what Raichu gets. Mulligan might hurt here. And mulligan. They both got a mulligan to start things off. So we'll just ignore the mulligans, I guess, because we have to start with something, right? And instead of both parties getting two mulligans, I think you just both reshuffle. How common is that, I wonder, where both parties get a mulligan? Maybe that means I don't have enough basics in these decks, or maybe it just means that even though I've shuffled them probably about ten times now, they're not fully shuffling or something. There's cards getting stuck together, and that could just be like the sleeves, stuff like that. There's no... There's no perfect, um, perfect shuffle, I would say. So there's four, another three. And Bagon's just here for focusing sake. So we have, we have uh, Oranguru, a couple Lycan rocks. So we're going to have to start things off with Oranguru, it looks like. And that is exactly where the glare is. Um, let me just adjust that lighting slightly. Wow. Don't want to mess it up too much because it can cause may m bigger issues if I mess with it too much. There's 
four and three. And what do we start with on the Raichu side? Another mulligan. So with the mulligan, we're going to put a... Uh, we're going to put a die counter at the top of the Lycanroc deck, indicating how many mulligans Raichu takes before it finds what it's looking for. There we go. I like that best. Okay. So hopefully Raichu doesn't have too many more mulligans because Lycanroc is going first. And we'll just do one of these. And Lycanroc likes Raichu getting mulligans because it leaves them with better prospects. Okay, so we start with a Raikou. Not bad, okay. So shake hands after the prizes get put out. Make sure you put your six prizes out after you find your basic. And uh, just ready to start with Lycanroc to see what he can get. So first you pull for the mulligan. Can't do anything with that, so you draw one more for the turn. And what do we have here? We have quite a few cards here. We have Zoroark, Lycanroc, and Lycanroc all here, and a couple of Ultra Balls. Um, there's no energies on the board. Um, I think the best option here is to Ultra Ball. Might even double Ultra Ball here. We're going to Ultra Ball here. In the discard pile, we're going to discard the Flare Grunt. And... I just want to say the Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of the special charge. And with that, we will search our deck for uh, probably the next card, right? Zerua. You know what? I'm going to use the other Ultra Ball and get out Rockruff as well. So we're going to Ultra Ball away the... Uh, I just think he's more useful. Then we're Ultra Ball away the Full Art Lycanroc GX and the Hala for that Rock Rough. So there is our Bench Mons. And how many cards do we have? We have two in our hand, so we're going to be able to instruct for one card. Don't know if this is the best start for this deck, but it's actually a really good one, I think, because you got both your basics you need down. So you can have it so you can evolve next turn and just draw what you need after that. Um, yes, we took ourselves down quite a bit, so we're gonna draw a rescue stretcher. Is that useful yet? Because this is back our Lycanroc GX, so that might be useful. That might come into play next turn. But for now, we're gonna pass it along to the Raichu player. We're going to draw for turn. We get an energy. We're going to play that energy on Raikou here. We're going to top Lele um, for a Bridget if we can find it. Bridget. So we got the Bridget. We're going to play that said Bridget for our supporter for the turn. Which will get us out a Pikachu. A Voltorb. And I'm trying to think what else is good in this. Probably another Pikachu. Or another Voltorb. We're gonna go with another Pikachu. McDonald's promo. Says so that has 70 HP as well. Let me know what you guys think of these sleeves. I got them from the PokemonCenter.com. Don't know if they still sell them. They are from uh, 2016. But they may. Go ahead and cut the deck. So we got our three from Bridget. Attached to the energy. We can evolve both Pikachus next turn. And uh, we're in a good spot here. We're in a good spot here. So we're just going to pass, I think. Since there's no way to charge up Raikou quicker. 
which kind of sucks. So passing. Now comes the big boys. So we got Lycanroc Evolve, Zerua Evolve. Um, we're going to go ahead and end. No, wait. We're going to instruct for one card, and then we're going to attach that to Lycanroc here. And then we're going to play in, which means this goes back as well. So in means that both players, you know, put their cards back in their deck, shuffle it up, and then draw the amount of cards equal to the prize cards. So that's why we're putting our hand back into our deck. So what we ended up... Uh, the other cards we played was, you know, Ultra Ball. You discard two cards to pick a Pokemon out of your deck. It's pretty much a staple in almost every deck. I'm having trouble with these sleeves. They're slipping right out of my hand. So three and three. Let's go ahead and put a coin on here because we used his ability. Maybe that's what we'll do. And then uh, let's go ahead and shuffle up Raichu as well. And uh, cut the deck, draw three and three because we have six prizes still. Let's see where that N got us on the Lichen Rock side. So we got the Vower Field, a Rock Ruff, and a Mallow. Um, we already end for turn, so we already used our supporter. The Vower Field is nice, but not necessary right now. I think we're going to tr use Trade with Zoroark, Zoroark and uh, discard a card and draw two cards. Devoured Field and Choice Band. Okay, so we didn't get our floats done like we wanted, but we can do that next turn with Mallow. So for now, we've attached energy. We've done all I can. So I think we're actually going to pass again. Yikes. Over to the Raichu side. Let's see if we can get set up now. Um, so draw for turn. An Electrode. That's perfect. And we can even throw down an Aether Pegasus Conservation Area, which uh, if we have a basic Lightning type like Raikou here, um, we take 30 less damage from our opponent's attack. Now his Shining Body ability also does this same thing. Uh, if this has a Lightning Energy attached to it, which it does, any damage to this Pokemon is reduced by 20. So that's why we put Raikou in this, because we can reduce 50 damage with these two cards together. Um, so what we're going to do... We're going to blow up Electrode, which Buzz Zap Thunder, uh, once during your turn, you may knock this Pokemon out and attach it as a light to a one of your Lightning Pokemon as a Special Energy card. It provides two Lightning Energy, only while this card is attached to that Pokemon. Or only while it's attached to a Pokemon. So we blow that up, which allows Lycanroc to take a prize. And uh, we have a Raikou fully uh, set up now. We're going to go ahead and put another energy should we um let's see there's 20 20 40 60 can we need another energy on him just to get the knockout um i think we are gonna go ahead and tapu lele again for a supporter card and I think the supporter we want is going to be... I tend to grab another Bridget. Pull out another Raichu. Pull out a, uh, a Voltorb. It's really better for next turn, though. What's in our hand? Should we Sycamore? I don't think we should sick of more because we have N. There's no more cards we can play out of our hand. So this would be weird to be really good to have like uh, Sophocles or something like that. We can't Guzma though. 
Guzma trapped something in the active. Um, don't want to do that though. So that was a waste of a top of the other play. Uh, I guess we're just going to grab in. Play it. And draw six new cards off of this end. So we still have six prizes. Same thing over here. I can't do that mallow play anymore. So Raikou can definitely take this first hit against a Rangaroo. The problem is the revenge KO that Lycanroc has set up. And five, because they only have five prizes now. And uh, let's see what we can still do over here. Touch all the energy we can for turn. We can evolve Pikachu into Raichu here. We can play down another Pikachu if we wanted to. Or we can toss both Pikachus to get a Voltorb. Uh, which I think is what we're going to do. We're going to Ultra Ball away both Pikachus. Grab a Voltorb that's in here somewhere. There he is. Make sure we have an Electrode. We do not. So a Voltorb is going to be our, our sixth Mon up here. So we have five on our bench and one in the active. So six Pokemon, just like in the Pokemon video game. I'm going to wait to Super Rod until next turn. So we're going to go ahead and attack with Thunder Lance. This is 50 damage, plus 20, plus 40, plus 60, plus 80, which does a total of 130, taking out this Rangaroo and allowing us to grab a prize card, which we're going to grab this one, a Max Elixir. Not bad. Okay, with that, uh, it is a Lycanroc's turn. Let's see what's the... The cards we got off of that were, um, looks like we only got five. Yes, five. Draw for turn, we get a Mallow. Very nice. Uh, actually, when Oranger got knocked out, we were supposed to promote, which we, of course, were going to promote the Lycanroc with Dangerous Claws. Does 30 more damage. So, this is going to be an interesting card right now. Uh... We won't quite knock it out with Dangerous Claws due to the Shining Body. And then the Ether Paris Conservation Area. It's really weird because... Um, so, Dangerous Claws will do 30 plus 30, which is 60 plus times 2 for the weakness. So it will do 120. However, because Shining Body, I believe it does... Oh, it's reduced by 20 after applying weakness and resistance. So it does 120, but minus 20 here. So it does 100, and then minus is 30 here, which does 70 damage, I believe. I believe that's the right way to do the math, but I'm not not definite. This is after applying. Is this before? After applying weakness and resistance. So I believe that's the way that works. Let's go ahead and mallow. Pick two cards that we want on the top of our deck right now and put them there. So, what are two cards that we could use to solidify this knockout and get us rolling in the game? Uh, I think 
Yasurilla and Guzma aren't bad, but we're going to throw a double colorless up top. And... Probably an Oranguru. Hard to say, hard to say here. Um, could bridge it as well. And then Bridget, we could uh, get three more bench Pokemon. Yeah, let's go ahead and put Bridget up there as well. So let's shuffle our deck, and then these two cards will go on top. And then uh, put them in the right order. I want Bridget on the bottom, double Colas on top. Put them like that. Then we will use the Zorax trade ability, get rid of a fighting energy and draw two cards, the two cards we just put there. Um, so we'll put the double colorless energy on Lycanroc here, and we'll Bridget our Mallow next turn. Devoured Field doesn't help us right the second, so we're going to hold off on that. Oh yeah, it does. Devoured Field, because we want to take out Aether Paradise Conservation Area. Put it over here. And then Lycan Rock can hit with Corner. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during your next turn. Now, Corner does 90 base damage. 90 times 2 is 180. You subtract the 20, which is 160, which demolishes uh, Raikou right here. So Raikou goes into the discard pile, and we draw another card, which is a Lycan Rock GX. So the question is, is how, how is... Uh, how is this Raichu deck going to take care of this Lightning Rock? So before before we even draw, we pick up our hand. Uh, but we got to decide what, what do we promote since Raikou is no longer uh, on the field. Uh, so it's some, something we want to be able to revenge hit this uh, Lycan Rock. So if we have something that can do 110 damage, that is ideal. However, uh, and we have no draw supporters. So we are in a bind for sure. It actually looks like the best option might be to promote Pikachu here. And then we'll draw for turn. A Super Rod, which does not help us. But we'll go ahead and play one of the Super Rods. Super Rod gets uh, Shuffle 3, any combination. Pokemon and Basic Energy back into your deck. So you have two Basic Energies. We have a bunch of Pokemon. So how many do we have in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... So we're going to play both Super Rods and shuffle Pikachus, Raikou, both Energies, and an Electrode back into the deck. Most people would say, well, why not just do Brock's Grit then? Because that's a supporter for the turn. Um, usually you play Super Rod and another supporter so you can like draw into them. But uh, that is not the case for us this time. There we go. I think they're uh, amply shuffled in here now. Yeah, I think they are pretty in there now. So let's go ahead and cut the deck as if we are Lycan Rock. What do we have in our hand? A max Elixir and a Lightning Energy. So let's go ahead and max elixir, look at the top six cards in our deck, find an energy, and attach it to a basic Pokemon on the uh, the bench. Now it has to be a basic energy, right? Look at the top six cards and attach a basic energy that you find there to a basic Pokemon on your bench. So we either have to pronounce it, uh, pronounce it, we either have to attach it to Lele or Voltorb. And considering Voltorb is pretty much fodder to blow up right now, we're going to attach it to a Tapu Lele. Put these six cards back and shuffle our deck again. We're going to attach this last card in our hand to the Pikachu. So maybe wondering why would you do that? Why not just sack off Pikachu and let Lele come swinging next turn? Um, and that is because... We're going to try to do a Thunder Wave play here, which may be a bad idea, may be a good idea, but we're about to see. Uh, so Thunder Wave, 
Flip a coin. If hedge, your opponent attack opponent is now paralyzed. Now the way dies work in the TCG is you roll it. Odds are, I believe, are tails and evens are heads. So let's roll it. It is an odd and that is a uh, tails. So Legnrock is not paralyzed and we are kind of screwed this next turn. So draw for turn. A Professor Sycamore. So this is where things are going to get a little interesting because we have everything we need here so that Lycanroc GX, we can play that Bloodthirsty Eyes, an amazing ability, I must say. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may switch one of your opponent's bench with one of their active, with their active Pokemon. So we're going to bench that. We're going to choose to do it. We're going to pull this big Raichu up here because it also has weakness. And uh, with that, we are going to Mallow. Find the exact card we need, which in this case, I believe is a tool card. If we have it, I should say. Yes, the tool card, Choice Band. So Choice Band is what we need here to be able to take this knockout on Raichu. And then I think... The other card we're going to go ahead and grab is going to be probably Zerua. So we can put out another uh, another uh, Zoroark when we find it. So we're going to go ahead and grab those two. Shuffle our deck. And I mean, this is how good this deck is without, uh, without Lycanroc GX is covering the field, but Lycanroc GX, just the ability to bloodthirsty eyes, pull out the Pokemon your Pokemon does not want you, or your opponent does not want you to have, just makes it so good. Um, so, we shuffled it up. Two cards up there, and discard a card in order to uh, grab those two cards. We're going to discard Bridget with the trade ability. Draw Choice Band and Zerua. We'll play Zerua down, attach that Choice Band. And now we are going to corner for 90 damage, but 30 more damage uh, with Choice Band, two GXs. So 90, 100, 120. We do 120 damage, which does 240 to Raichu and takes it out cleanly. And that's two more prizes for the Lycanroc player. A Zorak GX and a double colorless energy. We have no hand over here as well. So we can just move the Pikachu up. Uh, replace Devoured Field with uh, Aether Paradise Conservationary. And attempt the Thunder Wave. We get the Thunder Wave. So this guy is paralyzed this turn. Which I don't... I think it's paralyzed is the left. So uh, he cannot attack... Uh, he has to use a, a card to, in order to switch. And, uh, yeah, so it's, it's hard to get out of par paralysis. Draw for turn, a DCE. We're going to go ahead and attach a double colorless to... Actually, hitting for weakness is just way better right now. So we're going to attach a fighting energy to the Lycanroc in the back. We're going to attach a... Uh, we can't attach any more energies. We're going to evolve Zerua into Zerork. We're going to trade with one. We're going to get rid of our N and draw two more cards. And then we're going to trade with the other. Get rid of our Sycamore and draw two cards. So, I mean, once you get your Zorark set up, that's the only draw engine you need. We'll go ahead and bench down a Rock Rough here, um, which we're going to move things a little north here so you can see what's in this back line over here. And then, uh, did we even play a supporter? I don't think we played a supporter. Um, yeah, we traded all that. So we still have our supporter play, which we are going to play. Right now, we're going to play... Uh, the problem is, is I can't do much. We're probably going to sit on it, actually. Yeah, we're going to sit on it. And let him become unparalyzed and pass the turn. Uh, a counter catcher, which we are super down on prizes, so we can counter catcher something into the active. Uh, so we're gonna play counter catcher and try to pull out the highest defense, highest retreat cost. So 
Zorak has two retreat costs. Zorak has two retreat costs. Rockruff has one. And Lycanroc GX has two. Um, Lycanroc GX already has an energy attached to it. And so I think we're going to pull out the Zorak GX. And push this Lycanroc back. Um, now, we're going to go ahead and Thunder Wave again. It is even, so the Zorak is paralyzed. Um, and unfortunately for the Raichu player, that sets up uh, a crazy play here. We can literally just Guzma. And uh, let me see what Lycanroc GX does. 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So, benched Pokemon our opponent has is 1, 2, and 3. So we can do 150 damage that way. Um, if we use that GX attack. Which I think we will. So we're going to Guzma up a Tapu Lele here. Bring up our Lycanroc GX, taking back our Z Zorak. We will attach a double colorless energy, the shiny version, and uh, I believe we are going to go ahead and trade with one Zorak, draw two cards, trade with the other, but let me see something real fast. So let me just look through this uh, discard pile here to see if we have anything we want to rescue stretcher. So we have an Orangaroo and a Lycanroc GX. So that is tempting. Um, we pulled the Guzma play, so we don't really need any of that. So other than that, so we'll keep the rescue stretcher for now then. Um... I'm going to go ahead and use the other trade. Trade away Ace Arola for two more cards. A Wally and a Sycamore. Still not finding exactly what we're looking for. Um, we have not played our... So you did play our supporter, Guzma. We played Guzma. So we can Rescue Stretcher to get an extra <clears throat> Pokemon. Or we can Rescue Stretcher for... To put two Pokemon back into the thing. Hard to say, hard to say. Um, <clears throat> so I think we're just going to Dangerous Rogue. 50, 100, 150. Which I think I've been just doing one shot so far. So I haven't had to do this. But use those for damage counters. Yeah, it's really been just one shot after one shot, hasn't it? Wow. Wow. Okay, and then that, it's a uh, Raichu's turn. Top deck mode, Sycamore. Maybe they can get back into this. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Very nice, very, very nice. We're gonna max Elixir. Look at the next six cards in our deck. Grab an energy. We're gonna attach that to the Pikachu. Um, So let's see, what do we have to do here? So we max Elixir to get energy on Pikachu. We can Ultra Ball. Yeah, so we're going to use our whole hand here. We already used our supporters, so they're almost useless. We're going to attach an energy to the Tapu Lele. Counter energy to Voltorb. Ultra Ball away, Guzma and Sycamore. Attach the Choice Band. And grab a Raichu GX. How much does he do? 20, 20, 40, 60, plus 70. There's only 130. 160. Let's see who does more damage. Does more damage here, actually. Um, so I might have t hit the attach the energy too quickly. 
So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So it's 100 versus uh, 140. So neither one of them can actually beat this Lycanroc GX. I mean, it's a good play, though. It was a good play. Ooh, that might have been better right now. No, it wouldn't have. Uh, so, I guess, since it is an Alolan Raichu deck, I don't know what to do now. I'm going to move this counter energy here because it's where I should have attached it. Not that it matters very much now. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and move Alolan Raichu into the active. Moving Tapu Lele. By retreating with that energy cost. Moving Alolan Raichu up here. With all the energy and a choice band. A Psychic does 70 damage plus 20 damage for the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, 70 does 100, and then does 20, 40, 60 with the energy attached to Lycanroc GX. So we will go ahead and put 120, 160 on Lycanroc GX, um, and it was just, just shy of being able to come back. So we're going to draw for turn. I'm going to use that Rescue Stretcher to pull out this Lycanroc GX. Evolve Rockruff on the bench. Pulling out anything. If we forgot to flip this when we used our GX attack. Um, we're pulling out this Tapu Lele that we already have damage on. Just for good measure, we're going to play out our hand, throw that double colorless down. We're going to Hala because you don't see Hala played all the time. Shuffle your deck and shuffle your hand into your deck. And if you have used your GX attack, which we just did, draw seven cards. If not, draw four cards. So, since we used our GX attack, we get to shuffle our hand into our deck and draw seven new cards. And there's three plus four. Doubler Bridget Choice Band. We could have just, if we just had the choice band last turn, we would have been able to take it out. I'm going to throw that choice band down now. Although we haven't. Let's do a tricky play here. Let's throw the choice band. Now yeah, we already did. We're going to ace a roller. Bring this lichen rock back up to our hand. And all the cards attached to it. Promote the Zorak GX and attach that choice band to him. Play the Rock Graph. Don't remember if I attach the energy or not. We're going to go ahead and uh, Field Blower away the Conservation Area and the choice band. We're going to trade with this guy. Drawing two cards. Trade with this guy. Uh, throw away the field blower, drawing two cards. And uh, play a rock rough down. And then attack. Right is beating those 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 to the top of Lele, taking it out and taking the last two prize cards, which were the two float stones that I was missing the whole game. So there we guys go. Zorark, Lake and Rock, as expected, taking out Raichu pretty handily um we'll go ahead and go through the deck profiles after this in a game two maybe it would be different but uh due to time's sake i really only play one games to see what's happening with these the idea behind the right you though is to you know get your voltorbs out early um blow up your your uh blow up your electrodes and attach them to raiku or uh, Raichu GX, and then um, be able to use counter energy 
after that because it'll count as two lightning energy when you are down on prizes. And since you will be down on prizes due to the electrode exploding, um, which actually we had a lot of things in our discard as well. A draw supporter, um, energy, energy, and a, a backup attacker. So there you guys have it. This has been Dapper Drabby. Let me know what you guys think of this rematch. I think the same party won. Uh, maybe I stacked it too much by putting Zoroark in there, but Tapu Lele is the draw support too. So it's like two Tapu Lele's here, two Zoroark's there, but two Zoroark's take up more deck space. So I thought it was even. Uh, so thank you guys so much for stopping by. Stay tuned later for the deck profiles. And I will see you guys on the next video. And Merry Christmas to all. Um, Alola. Bye-bye now.